Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, little quick thing that I just, I had learned in Google Analytics that I did not know before. You know, whenever you're um, taking a look at the success of your, your uh, blog or your website, there's some things you want to pay attention to. So I was just looking at my data from March. You know, I've got a little blog that we've been progressively building more information on. And I saw this, when you go down to behavior here, I saw a discrepancy that was really confusing. When I go to overview, it would show me, when I go to all pages for site content, it would show me that my average time on page was seven minutes, 56 seconds, seven minutes, 52 seconds, really long, right? I have stuff that have five minutes. Now, most of these don't have lots to do with my services. They're meant to be blogs that I just want people to read. I go after, um, <clears throat> so here, this is big four accounting firms versus starting your own business. You know, I'm not pitching sales at all. This is a, a, a video landing page, actually. So I had 241 views of that page views. I had 228 unique page views. Average time on page, 5 minutes, 14 seconds. But look at my bounce rate is 95%. 95% of the 241 people that came bounced out and didn't click through to another page. Or the exit percent is 92%. So most people didn't click through my website. They read the article or, and watched the video or whatever it was and then left, which is fine with me on this piece of content, right? Um, for my homepage, it's quite a bit different. It's, it's 56%. But when I go down to landing pages, which is a little bit different deal down, I saw a very confusing thing. On the same content that I had a seven minute average time on page, I had an average session duration of only 17 seconds. I was like, wait a minute, that's that's really weird. I've, I've tended to breeze through this a little bit more when it comes to the landing pages. I, I look at sessions, new users, bounce rate, but I was like, wow, that's a huge disparity. Dis <laughs> There's a huge difference there between five minutes and 17 seconds. Well, I just did some homework, and according to a couple different sources here, what it appears is that Google doesn't have a good way to monitor how long people are on your page, in particular when you have a high exit percent. Evidently, because I have a 92% of the 241 leaving the blog, it's very hard for me to see how long they're there for. So what it appears and what this article said was that the average time on page excludes all people that exited. <laughs> so in this case, it's only 7.05% of this 241 people is counted towards this 514 and that this excludes everything that sorry, everything that exited. So everything that exited is not included in this. So it's a very small percentage. And that when it comes to the other metric or the landing page that this one is even more skewed because there's the only time that it can count anything different in the average session duration so here we've got 17 seconds is if they clicked through to another page so all this is doing is for people that found my page and clicked through of the total page sessions of 226 that's counted here um, and then it's divided by the total amount of sessions. So anyways, there's no real good, strong way to understand exactly how long people are on your page when it comes to Google Analytics. I think if you know anything different, I'd love to hear it. I'd love, to, we learn every day. But from what I can see, I was always super excited about the time on page and perhaps I need to be a little less excited about that. And uh, yeah, let me know if you know the answer. I'd love to hear.